Due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus throughout the globe, Formula One's 2020 Australian Grand Prix was officially cancelled after a McLaren member tested positive for coronavirus. The 2020 Chinese Grand Prix was already postponed after the strain of novel coronavirus was believed to have originated in the country. While the spread increases globally, further races may be cancelled, but these will not be the first cancelled races in Formula One. So let's take a look back at a few cancellations from Formula One's past and dig into the reason why each race dropped off the calendar after it got there in the first place. The most recent example of a race cancellation, the 2011 Bahrain Grand Prix was scheduled to be that year's season opener. But on the 14th of February 2011, a number of uprisings took place across the Middle East and North Africa, known as the Arab Spring, as numerous citizens protested against oppressive regimes and a poor quality of life. With that in mind, and Bahrain one such country experiencing civil unrest, the race was postponed until the end of the season. The plan was to reinstate the Bahrain Grand Prix to the 30th of October, and in the process, move the Indian Grand Prix to a December slot. But, unhappy with the logistics involved and the seeming disregard for the human rights implications, the Formula One Teams Association FOTA vetoed the plan. Bahrain's GP officials then subsequently dropped any plans to host the race that year. Instead, waiting for its reinstatement in 2012. The 2020 Chinese Grand Prix is not the first race in China to be cancelled. The nation was penciled in for its inaugural F1 race back in 1999. Back then, then F1 supremo Bernie Ecclestone announced in 1998 that the Zhohai International Circuit was to host a Grand Prix on the 21st of March, which would make it the second round of the 1999 calendar. But just months after its announcement, F1 announced that the Chinese Grand Prix would no longer go ahead, as the FIA had been insufficiently impressed by the facilities at the circuit, which needed work if it was to appear on the following year's calendar. However, this never happened, and China had to wait until the 2004 season to get its first Grand Prix, held at Shanghai. Although Jacques Villeneuve liked the Zhohai circuit, describing it as similar to the Spielberg circuit in Austria, we never got the chance to see it in F1 action. Another race supposed to be on the 1999 calendar was the Argentine Grand Prix, but unlike China, it had been a mainstay on the F1 schedule. After the Argentine Great Depression, which began in late 98, the organisers of the race were feeling the pinch and were unable to match the funding that China promised to host a race. But as we've previously mentioned, the Zhou Hai race was cancelled and the Argentine Grand Prix was reinstated to the calendar with a provisional March 28th slot pending talks with promoters and Formula One. But by the end of January, the Argentine Grand Prix was also knocked off the calendar after Formula One was unable to come to an agreement. The race at the Buenos Aires circuit was deemed not financially viable, as several upgrades were requested but not ultimately produced. The 1998 Argentine Grand Prix then was the last F1 race held in Argentina. And although efforts were made to organise a street race in Mar del Plata for the 2013 season, it never came to fruition. Estoril 1997. Having been on the calendar for over a decade, Estoril was one of the more scruffy venues on the F1 schedule, and the FIA had been badgering the circuit owners for years to make some upgrades. But when the FIA formally requested a few safety changes, Estoril's owners scoffed. After all, they'd been on the calendar for years without having to make any renovations. Why start now? But in response, F1 called its bluff and pulled Estoril off the calendar, replacing it with the Jerez circuit in Spain. The caveat was that if Estoril could make the safety changes required, the FIA offered it a slot on the calendar on the 9th of November. But the fixes weren't made in time, while Ferrari and McLaren were believed to have vetoed an 18-race calendar. How things change. As it stood, Jerez hosted the season finale, and we know how that turned out. South Africa, 1981. Despite the backdrop of apartheid, South Africa was due to host the season opener of the 1981 Formula One season. However, the year began under the cloud of political wrangling between governing body FISA, led by Jean-Marie Ballest, and the Constructors Association FOCA, led by Bernie Eccleston. FISA wanted to change the date of the season opening race at Kyalami to April the 11th, two months after the original February 7th date that had been previously agreed. FOCA, consisting largely of the British teams on the grid, also had an agreement with Kyalami's management for the February date, 
leaving the two governing bodies in a little bit of a pickle. The race wasn't cancelled per se, but it was run as a Formula Libre race rather than a Formula One race, meaning that it didn't have to adhere to the 1981 regulations, which had heavily restricted ground effect aerodynamics. So the Foca teams ran at Kyle Army with all their bells and whistles in a non-championship race, won by Williams driver Carlos Reutemann, but the race was ultimately stricken from the F1 record beforehand. But with the threat of coronavirus rapidly spreading worldwide, more races may be cancelled this season. We'll have to find out if that's truly the case.